Hey guys, Damon O here at REI Blackbook, and I just want to give you guys uh, a couple of Facebook advertising tips. This is going to be really helpful, uh, not just for real estate investors, but to be candid, any business owner, any entrepreneur, or frankly, even if you just want to understand why the heck you see some of the ads you do in your newsfeed. And so I've got an ad right here in my newsfeed. It looks like we've got uh, a, an event, register now for free. Looks like it's a financial workshop coming up in St. Charles on February 3rd. And it's like, well, how the heck are they targeting me? Well, I'd love to know that. So I can actually just come up here and click on this uh, little drop down arrow here. And it says, why am I seeing this? So why am I seeing this ad? So I can go ahead and click on it. And it is, okay, very interesting. One reason I'm seeing this ad is that Success Center wants to reach people who may be similar to their customers and also people that are age 25 to 64 who live or were recently near Chesterfield, Missouri. Now, I actually do live in Chesterfield, and so that's uh, one of the reasons I'm seeing this ad, and obviously this is a local workshop, so that's great that they're targeting folks around the workshop, but this is the point I wanna uh, really kinda point out up here, is that people who may be similar to their customers, so what Success Center has actually done is they've actually been able to upload a list of their previous customers. So you may not be aware of that, but you can certainly upload a list of your previous customers, uh, whether you just have their phone number, their email address, their address, or if you've got all of that info, you can actually upload it to Facebook. Facebook's gonna search for all of their profiles based upon the information that you upload, and it's gonna find all of your customer profiles. Then they go through and they actually analyze all of your customer profiles to find you know, their likes, their interests, you know, what are their commonalities. And so Facebook's so smart, they realize all these common trends and they can basically define what your, your perfect customer looks like. Uh, they call it a look-alike audience. And from there, Facebook then goes out and says, okay, hey, we're gonna find people that match and have all of these similar interests, okay? And so you might be wondering, well, what the heck are my interest and how are, are they actually doing this? So you can actually come down here and click on manage your ad preferences. Now most folks think, just look at this and say, okay, this is gonna be great. I can come in here and actually look at what I have liked. And you can see I've got 155 different uh, items that I've liked in business and interest, industry, news, me, uh, news and entertainment, hobbies, activity, you can kind of see all that stuff. But here's the interesting thing. I can come down here and start clicking more. And this is basically all of the things that I've liked that, that individuals could absolutely target me. Now, to be very candid, there's other things too, like age and, and location, all kinds of other things that, that they can do. But as the marketer advertiser, here's what I actually wanna point out to you. Pay attention, because actually as I hover over these things, it says, look, I can see example ads. So I've done something to uh, you know, click on likes or something for luxury real estate. So if I'd like to see some example ads, I can come in here and click on that. Now, this is great for marketers and advertisers because you can come in and get an idea of what your competitors may be using, or it doesn't even have to be a direct competitor to understand the marketing and advertising that is being used on Facebook to get these people's attention. So for example, I don't own a moving company, but you can see here black tie moving services. I can get an idea of their copy, their messaging, their images, what types of headlines are they using for this audience. Um, but you know, and then over here I can actually see, it looks like Adam is a, looks like he's a real estate broker or agent and looks like he's actually got a listing. You can see he's actually using video. Okay. Um, I've got, uh, Gilbert physical medicine. Now, sometimes these aren't going to necessarily like appear like they make perfect sense because it's like, well, what does that have to do with luxury real estate? Well, the truth of, uh, the truth of the matter is Gilbert physical medicine here probably realizes that folks that are interested in luxury real estate probably higher in, they've got a little bit more uh, disposable income. And so they are targeting, targeting probably based on uh, financial, financial metrics and, and thinking that, hey, that those are equivalent and they very well could be. Uh, same thing with, okay, so energy solutions, taxes. All right, so uh, energy efficiency fund funding available. Okay, well, that may be very applicable to luxury real estate and things like that. So I want you to understand that it may not be apples to apples to your business. However, they're targeting the exact same market that you may be interested in and you can understand what they're doing. And even to the point where you can come in here and click on the video and actually play the videos. So this is an example of luxury real estate. Um, but let me show you a couple of other ways that this stuff is actually used because it's pretty cool. So um, for instance, I can come down here and click on real estate broker. 
Well, that's interesting to know. I'd love to see, you know, what are folks uh, advertising and marketing to real estate brokers? Well, I can quickly see that I've got somebody here. It uh, looks like a listing agent um, that she's advertising and targeting real estate brokers. And, and to be candid, sometimes their targeting may be off. Okay. So I don't know if I'm a listing agent. There may be reasons I'd want to uh, advertise and market directly to my competitors or brokers. Maybe she's showing listings, maybe something along those lines. Not really sure, but I've got a mortgage guy here. So I've got Brian Decker here, $200 million a year producer, he says. And this again, this is an ad he's running. So if I want to actually click on that. Hi, this is Brian Decker with Guaranteed Rate. I just wanted to take a few minutes and give you guys a great update. One of the things I've been most excited about in the 13 years I've been in this industry is our Click new on 1% Play the video. down program. The All right, so I can actually, so if I'm a mortgage guy, I could totally kind of come in here and understand what kind of ads that other uh, mortgage guys may be running to real estate brokers. You're going to see the same uh, pain relief and wellness stra uh, strategy here. Again, targeted to real estate brokers. So this individual may be really focused on uh, realtors for whatever reason. Uh, but let me show you some other ways that this might be used because it may, some of these ads whenever you come in here, so you can see that I've expressed interest in the uh, Navy SEALs. So let's come in here, let's take a look at this ad set. Now, first of all, what do we notice about the imagery here? That's the one thing I wanna really point out here is the imagery. It's not always necessarily, it may not necessarily always like make perfect sense of why the heck would Sling TV target Navy SEALs specifically? Well check this out okay check it out they're actually advertising to navy seals but they're actually uh, you know sling tv look at the imagery they're using the video they're using and they're actually advertising a navy seal uh looks like a navy some sort of navy seal program on whatever tv show it looks like on the history channel right so think about that just for a minute that's how powerful this facebook ad engine can be is even if your product seems much more broad and much more general if you actually want to jump down and get into a very targeted audience you can match the imagery the messaging everything to a particular demographic in a particular market okay so i want you to think about that because that's really really super powerful and then you know again some of the stuff may not necessarily directly like why would you know why would they advertise this to just Navy SEALs? Well, they're probably not advertising just Navy SEALs. I would guarantee you we could go find other ads from Sling TV that are geared to other demographics and they're matching the imagery, the messaging, all of that stuff, okay? So super, super powerful to kind of just come in here. And for those of you that are in small business and just kind of interested in stuff in general, it's also really a great way to kind of get an uh, inspiration, if you will, to understand the messaging, uh, things like that, that are um, being used and leveraged. So really super super powerful cool stuff i uh, hope this was beneficial if it was just leave a comment below uh, let me know what you think if you got other questions i'd be happy to answer them in the comments uh, below this video we'll talk soon thanks